guys, Ike Eastman here. We are in the Eastman's Gear Lab, and today we're gonna to talk real quick about how to pack your cooler. It's the middle of July, everybody's hot across the entire country. Here's some tips that I've learned and some tips that we've learned from people like Yeti about how to pack a cooler um, depending on what you're trying to do with it. A lot of people obviously know ice, but one of the tricks that we use, especially early season for antelope hunting, is dry ice. Um, dry ice is key because it will stay frozen until it is gone. It will also keep your cooler and your ice frozen until it's gone. So what it does is just add a little bit of time in the field. Um, so it doesn't take a ton. This is about a pound and a half of ice, of dry ice. Um, make sure you leave it in the, in the paper sack. Don't touch it. It will frostbite your hand instantly. Um, so there's two methods. There's one to freeze stuff and one to keep things cold. What we're gonna do today is just keep things cold. The other one is you just reverse the order of this. So to keep things cold, you throw the dry ice in the bottom of your cooler. Make sure it's flat. Take your ice, your regular ice. Now the key to this is making sure that the ice covers completely up the dry ice. And the reason is, is it will create a barrier. It'll basically insulate itself. It'll create a barrier from your dry ice and your other stuff. Now I've done this long enough to know that if you don't do that, you will open your cooler and there will be an exploded pop in there or whatever else. It will, it was, whatever touches that dry ice freezes. So the dry ice covered by ice, it's going to dry, it's going to freeze it, freeze the ice solid and then you can just put your stuff on top. Now, stuff that you want to stay colder, put it on the bottom. stuff that you want to keep cool to drink, put it closer to the top. And the stuff that doesn't really matter, like the sandwiches and things that you just you want refrigerated cold, leave them on the very top. Now, the other key to this is you don't have to have the ice surrounding the drinks. In about probably an hour, hour and a half, this cooler is going to be so cold, all of this warm stuff will be freezer cold, just because of the amount of ice in here. So. Hopefully that helps you today. Hopefully you guys get a little tip and when you're packing the boat up or packing early season, you got an antelope or whatever hunt, you guys can pack your Yeti cooler and keep things cold. The other way to do this is using dry ice to cool things off to the point where they freeze. That is where you put the meat in there, make sure the meat is cooled down, not warm but make sure the meat is cooled down to, you know, the 60, below 60 degrees, and then put the dry ice on top of it, and it will freeze solid, whatever you put in there. Um, last year, we put an entire antelope in a cooler on the way home from Southern Colorado. It was 90 some degrees, and by the time we got home, it was frozen solid. Dry ice on top, it's frozen. Dry ice on the bottom, keeps everything cool. We'll see you next time. Hope you guys have a good summer, and good luck this fall. Thank <laughs> you.